it's often said that many of the best houses in Los Angeles were inspired by the movies themselves. Fantasy Fantasy preceded reality. And this house is neither fantasy nor reality. It's reality as fantasy. I think if you have watched Gone with the Wind or James Bond or Jaws and you've always wanted to live not only the Hollywood lifestyle but the silver screen lifestyle then money is no object and you notice that this house is black and white so this house is very viscerally harking back onto the silver screen Hollywood system era when American citizens weren't allowed to even see in color and people did not have the cone I mean, we're talking about an era where movies were literally in black and white. Safety was very important thinking about this house. You'll notice that there are um, numerous levels of rails preventing children from falling off balconies. And this is very important because this is a house that looks to be maybe eight or nine stories high, uh, which is very good because you want privacy. I mean, you want people on the street to see you, but when you're in the house, you want privacy. Uh, because the last thing you would want is your wife to know which level of the house you're on. But you very much would want to wave at the passersby and say, this is my house. I am living the dream and you are not, but maybe one day you will. Um, yes. One of the other things I love is the landscaping, which is really original. You'll notice we didn't the the architects didn't use any flowers or any kind of domestic or uh, high end landscaping. They really wanted to bring that kind of gritty industrial park somewhere, maybe commerce, city of industry, and really. Uh, humanize this house that on the surface looks almost too finicky you know very precious and one of the ways to kind of uh, interact with the surroundings is to use landscaping naturally found in urban decay mm -hmm. you'll notice there's also street art uh, there's a do not enter wrong that, way sign. That is by Banksy? Yes. It's really a protest against the injustices uh, that are happening in all societies, really. Uh, I think it really is important because it also serves a function, uh, which is to uh, drive on the correct side of the road. One of the downsides of this property is there's no uh, pedestrian access. But honestly, I think that's a plus because the Well, uh, I actually have some friends who are tourists and they had actually confused this home with the new construction of the Beverly Center. So could, could you uh, tell us on how one could spot the differences between, for let's say, the driveway of this <laughs> as opposed to the entrance of you know the common parking lot entrances we will find at the malls in Beverly Hills West Hollywood adjacent areas I would direct you to the uh, city code which uh, specifies different uh, engineering requirements for residential and commercial properties and that really is what determines design today in LA it's really about about maximizing optimizing realizing and when you have a residentially zoned property there's a certain grade of elevation that's necessary to uh, get a permit for occupancy and clearly this driveway is really the bare minimum necessary to 
enter the house with the vehicle without having to get red tagged. Hi. We're just we love the house. We're just doing some filming. For a real estate website. So it'll take them like 45 minutes to come down. <laughs> so good. This is the executive gardening. It's like something um, that would happen at Jasa Arafat's palace. <laughs> like what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. It's a new sophisticated <laughs> method of farming. Yeah, it reminds me of Garden. Bunny Melon and the Rose Garden at the White House. Yeah, keep doing your job. Wow, see, local Los Angeles women love this architecture. See, it's very vibes. 